What's going on guys, Seth here for TLG doing a TLG reacts to the Need for Speed Unbound reveal that came out today. I saw the leaks yesterday, I wanted to wait to talk about it because I looked at the art style and I was like, man, that's interesting looking, but I gotta see it in motion. So we're gonna watch it and uh, see what we think. And then uh, I also have the trailer for the Dead Space remake. Uh, this is the official gameplay trailer, so we're going to check that out. Both short videos. This will be a short video in itself, which is fine because I'm not doing enough of those here lately. It's all long-form stuff. So with that, let's jump into the first video. And uh, yeah, first one is uh, Need for Speed Unbound official reveal trailer. Uh, now, going into this, uh, yeah, the, the, the new art style is really interesting. If you haven't seen it, you're going to see it. But uh, if you did see the leaks, uh, it is animated looking i don't want to necessarily say cartoony it is cell shaded for sure almost has like a spider-man into the spider-verse kind of look to it which probably played influence to it if, I, if i'm being honest it seems like it um and yeah the cars have like weird animations going on outside of it really eye-catching so uh that could look good in stills though maybe in motion it doesn't look good so really excited to watch this see what they're bringing to need for speed uh when it comes to need for speed as a brand i think they've been really struggling to find what their brand means anymore for me as a long time fan of need for speed back in the day i'm not really into it much anymore um it's always been about the speed factor it's been an arcade racer they have dabbled in sim stuff uh which were cool but just not what Need for Speed is. They've always been really good at uh, having the speed factor, the flying down the road, racing really quickly, feeling, and also, you know, introducing, you know, cops early on in the series uh, has also been a really defining feature. Uh, we actually reviewed Heat recently, and uh, it was okay. I didn't hate it or love it, but um, it had those two factors. But visually, there's just nothing to it that, that really differentiates it from other racing games, especially with titans like fucking Forza Horizon 5 being as good as they are, Need for Speed really needs something that defines it. And I think this new art direction can make or break it. If the game's not great, people are going to go, well, it's that shitty arca or, you know, arcade, uh, cartoony racing Need for Speed that wasn't that good. But if people like the way it plays, me included, if it, if it feels good when you're driving... Um, and it has that style, which I think is kind of interesting looking. It could really define the series moving forward. So with that, I say we could just start this and uh, see what we think. This is uh, Need for Speed Unbound official reveal trailer. Three, two, one, go. Has ASAP Rocky in it. So uh, I'm going to get demonetized. That's fine. I don't make money off of YouTube anyway. Yeah, I think the character models are interesting because I already didn't care about the character models or the characters in prior Need for Speed games. I think they look dorky. But with this cartoony animated look to them, they are more interesting looking. I really hope when you're racing, you're getting these like animated cartoony looking visuals because I think it's kind of neat. Especially because the car looks almost realistic, slightly cell shaded. But with like the cartoon smoke and stuff, it's pretty neat looking in my opinion. I feel like I'm talking really fast. I've drank like a shill of coffee. I put it to you like this. You dust me in this, I let you have that. I hope they nail this, because I feel like like I said earlier, I feel like this could be like defining for them. If this works out, like I feel like it, uh, this could be potentially, you know, we could get an unbound two, three. Also, kind of reminds me of Underground, and it sounds kind of like it with Unbound. So that is interesting. And Underground was very popular, still is, I think. But uh, I remember when it came out, people fucking loved Underground. I liked Underground too. Um, so yeah, I kind of talked over that, kind of talked about what I thought already, but uh, kind of break it down real quick. Um, I like the visuals. I like that they're going for this highly stylized animated look. I think the character models are way more intriguing than they're just, you know, vague, this dude, that chick, fucking realistic look. There's actually some character to the way they look, which I, I like. Um, car models look good. They look realistic, but they kind of look cartoony. It's interesting that they're kind of going with a more 
realistic look when everything else is cartoon looking, but the smoke animations, the wings, all that stuff, I hope that's not just the trailer. I hope that's actually how the game looks when you're driving, because I think that'd be really interesting, and 100% will fucking uh, differentiate it from every racing game that exists right now, so uh, it'd be a smart move. Um, and yeah, overall, when I'm looking at Need for Speed, and I'm going like, well, what what is offer? What's this game offering? But like, what is Need for Speed? Um, I've I've had problems figuring that out. But um, you know, whoever is move like coming in here and and uh, coming up with this idea, I think they might be on an interesting path. I think this is the right track for them to go on to really kind of differentiate Need for Speed from all the other racing games. So um, this is the most interested I've been in. Uh, a need for speed in a long time. So uh, hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's not shit. That would really suck if I'm like, oh, that one looks pretty cool. And then it comes out and it just plays like shit. But it's looking pretty cool. I really like the direction and I think uh, I, I, I just hope it's good. So let me know in the comments what do you guys think about Need for Speed Unbound. Are you excited about it? Are you not excited about it? Are you a fan of Need for Speed? Are you a fan of old Need for, Need for Speed like me? What do you think of this new art style? Do you think it's uh, good, bad? Are you kind of like, well, we'll find out. I would like to see gameplay, like full-on gameplay, um, not this like stylized trailer. But uh, yeah, let me know everything you think about in the comments below, though, when it comes to Need for Speed Unbound. All right, next video is Dead Space official gameplay trailer. Now, I'm pretty excited for this game. I I'm I am excited for it, but the Callisto Protocol is also coming out, and that's being made by the people who made the original Dead Space. So I'm kind of more excited for Callisto Protocol, but. Uh, Dead Space remake, uh, you know, I'm excited for that as well. Dead Space had its place uh, at one point in time. They kind of ruined it, uh, as people do over time if you make a game too many times. Um, but yeah, I kind of miss that era of like AAA companies making horror games. It's all indie companies nowadays. And so uh, the idea of them remaking Dead Space is cool because we're getting a modern take, a modern day uh, graphical interpretation of that game. But also, it tells me that EA is interested in dabbling with the brand again. And if this does well, we might get, uh, you know, more new Dead Space games, maybe remasters of the other Dead Space games, even though, um, you know, people didn't like the the later one. Um, but yeah, that also could mean that we could get more AAA horror games if this does well. So I'm hoping it's good, first off, but secondly, that it's received well in the sense that EA will take the hint and uh, start making some single-player games again. Um, so yeah, really excited for it. Really excited for Callisto Protocol. I'm um, really excited for AAA Horror coming back. And uh, yeah, let's just watch this and see Isaac Clark blow away some uh, necromorphs. Uh, this is Dead Space official gameplay trailer in 3, 2, 1, go. USG Ishimura. This is the emergency maintenance team of the USG County. I'm glad we're getting a fucking trailer, though, because they were showing that, like, early development stuff, and some people like it. Eyes? I like it sometimes cool. as well, but for a game like this, I'm like, I already know Dead Space. You got, like, Isaac? you know, just show me what the finalized game's gonna look like. I don't want to see the uh, scenes on it too much. Get the fuel running. This is looking like Dead Space, except for with better graphics, which is exactly is officer, what you're going to want. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. And after seeing that early footage, I'm glad that this is coming out looking you know, like a game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good, dude. It's gonna be so weird playing this around the same time Closer Protocol comes out, though, because Closer Protocol is gonna feel like the evolution of where this was going, and this is gonna feel like a modern take on an old game. It'd be cool to revisit it, see it with better graphics, but I feel like Closer Protocol is just gonna be like the game. Gun scene impactful, which is cool. Blowing around is uh, it's pretty cool. Oof. Toxic. 
humanity will be Dead Space 3 that everybody hated? I never played it. I only played this, this one, and I played a little bit of 2. Isaac, it's me. It's all falling apart here. This game always reminds me of, um... Nicole? Oh god, I forgot what that game's called. Lost Planet 3. Like, Lost Planet 3 came out, ruined the series. Dead Space 3 ruined the series. So weird. And it's because both deviated too far. It's like, you gotta evolve it, but do it responsibly. But what do I know? I'm not a fucking dev. Uh, okay, so overall, uh, I'm very happy with how this looks. It looks like Dead Space. It looks like the original Dead Space, but with better graphics, um, which is exactly what you want from a remake. Uh, it looks like they're doing it responsibly, and as long as they don't fill this with DLCs that you have to buy, uh, you know, microtransactions, all that shit, some kind of battle pass, uh, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll be happy with it. Um, I'm actually really excited to play through this again uh, in this light. Um, it's, it's looking authentic, responsible, um, looking like something I definitely want to play. Looking like a game that's going to remind me that I want to play Callisto Protocol, but I think Callisto Protocol comes out before this by like a month or something. So that's not going to be an issue. But, uh, but yeah, between this and Callisto Protocol, I'm going to be very happy when it comes to, you know, playing horror games with more coming after that too. Um, but yeah, uh, Necromorphs are looking, uh, gruesome, disgusting, uh, dismembering them will be fun. Um, and it was a good trailer overall. I mean, it kind of hit all the the major beats of what you're hoping for from a Dead Space game. So, I think they know exactly what they're doing. I think they're they're gonna nail this. Um, it's looking like it should, and uh, I'm excited to play it. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments, though, what you guys think of the Dead Space official gameplay trailer. Is it what you want it to be? Is it missing something? Uh, is there anything from this that you want them to do with it? Uh, do you want more Dead Space? I kind of would like to see them explore that or explore new uh, horror games. And, uh, yeah, let me know everything you're thinking about in the comments below. But that's going to do it for this TLG Reacts. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure to um, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Comment what you think and uh, stay tuned. We got a taste cast coming out soon. But until then, I've been Seth. Have a good one, guys, and take it easy.